Good morning, everyone. Why did I say it like that? Good morning. Good morning. Here's a mess. I need to go start getting ready because today, honestly, I always have such a struggle with my hair. I feel like it's just forever a mess. Oh, I hate it. Much better. Kind of. I just need to go get ready. I look so scary. Just woke up. I've got my matcha. I think we're going on three weeks of no coffee and I feel great. The eye twitch is almost completely gone. I haven't been sleeping super great. So I think once I can get on a better sleep schedule, but honestly, I've been going to bed at like 9 p.m., waking up at six, no alarm clocks. Like it's been really great. I think it's because I have cut out coffee. That's the only thing that I've changed in my routine and I've seen such a drastic difference. So I'm gonna be sticking to it. I was tempted the other day when Dean and I went to a coffee shop, but I messed up once when I was making coffee for Dean and just out of habit, I just made a cup for myself and started drinking it. And once it was gone, I was like, oh crap, I don't drink coffee anymore. And I did feel pretty weird throughout the day. So no more of that. I don't know if I've already talked about this in a video. So today I have a tea party with my grandma and I am so excited, I cannot wait. So I'm about to start getting ready. We are going to the Waldorf Astoria. I was supposed to stay there last night and have like a whole staycation, go to the spa, go to the pool, just like relax. But Dean left yesterday for Wyoming. He's doing a rock climbing trip for his birthday with his brother. And I thought Dean was gonna bring Alistair with him. I think Dean thought Alistair was gonna stay. So it was kind of just a miscommunication on our part. Dean originally was gonna take the van. So he was gonna sleep in the van. It would have been great for Alistair, but he had to stay at his brother's house because the uh, van's not ready. And his brother and his wife just had a new baby. And Alistair's so unpredictable that I just, it would, I wouldn't feel comfortable with him around a baby. So Alistair's here, canceled my staycation. And I leave for Coachella tomorrow. So Alistair might be coming to Coachella. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. I've been talking to a few rovers because obviously that would inhibit my plans for Coachella. I wouldn't like be in the desert all day or maybe like go at all. Maybe I would just stay at the hotel, which doesn't sound ideal. I would love to see the music. So we're trying to figure it out. Hopefully that works so I can um, just have a kid free weekend and I'm going to go get ready for my tea party. Do you want to go to Coachella with me? Yeah, of course you do. You can't leave my side. I just got this new little olive branch from A Floral, which is where I get all of my fake plants because I cannot keep anything alive. And I only got one because it was like $20 for one little branch, which is pretty ridiculous. And I just put this behind it for now. But I think if I mix a little bit of the one on the left and a little bit of the olive branch, maybe get two more, it could be really pretty. I still have not started getting ready. I've been procrastinating, but I've been organizing this closet that has it's not perfect i'm still working on it but it has been so messy every time i come back it like stresses me out so i feel like it's like 95 percent of the way there also other great news we just found out that alistair's trainer can watch him and honestly it's just like such a relief to be like okay i don't have to stress about like leaving him in the hotel room and will he be okay so everything's good i feel like you know another thing off my list. I'm gonna show off my outfit the best I can. The shoes are the most important part. Oh, I don't know if you can see them. This is my tea party outfit. I'm late, so I'm gonna go. with my grandma it was so much fun so my grandma and I are very similar we were talking about that today we both tend to stress out about random things we're problem solvers we just put too much on our plate and we're always stressed and so we like took two hours just to enjoy each other's company relax not check emails not worry about what's going on and it was so fun if you have a chance to stop by the tea lounge at the Waldorf Astoria in Vegas you should it is so beautiful we seriously had the best time I had the strawberry tea, which is really, really good. My grandma's was a little better. She got the cherry blossom. They gave us cute little sandwiches, the best scones I've ever had in my life, and these cute, not even cute, beautiful desserts. And I got the garden spritz as well. It's Chandon mixed or infused with orange bitters. It was amazing. I got a little bottle to take home with me. I think that's going to be my drink when I host people because it's almost... 
It tastes very similar to an Aperol spritz, but there's no mixing involved, even though Aperol is really easy to make, but you just pour it straight in the glass. The whole experience, 10 out of 10. It was so good. It was so much fun. If you have a chance to go, please go. It ends mid-May and I have to show you my shoes. Okay, so I've had these shoes for a little while now, but I haven't had a chance to wear them. And I was like, oh my gosh, a tea party. That is perfect. It has the most beautiful little butterfly details, pearl embroidery. So after we had tea, I walked around the crystal shops and what heels can you walk around Vegas in? None, like absolutely none. They are so comfortable. I cannot tell you enough how comfortable they are. So Bella Belle started off as wedding shoes, I'm pretty sure. And they're supposed to be like really comfortable wedding heels that you can wear all day, all night. And now they have like their own, I guess they still could be wedding heels, ones that aren't specifically for weddings. And they live up to the hype. They're so comfortable. I'm gonna be wearing these probably all summer. And my shoes, my shoes, my feet do not do well in heels. Like I'm done after the first hour. These are perfection. I am back in LA. I woke up this morning at six, hopped on my flight. Alistair, I dropped him off at the trainer last night. Well, he trained all day. And then I dropped all his food and stuff off with the trainer last night. So he's gonna be with him until I get back on Tuesday. I already miss him. I was like, can I sleep with him tonight? But it just, did you hear my stomach? It just would have been too much. I would have been a little stressed and that's unfair for me to wake the trainer up at 6 a.m. when he doesn't have to be up that early. I've been running around trying to get everything packed because I am leaving for Coachella in 20 minutes. And I was running a few errands this morning once I landed and thinking, oh my gosh, I'm already so exhausted. The weekend hasn't even started. I have no reason to be tired. I think I'm like mentally preparing. I think my mind's like telling me that I'm exhausted, but once I get there in the heat, in the desert, it'll be really fun. I think weekend two is gonna be great because there's like no parties or anything. It's just about the festival. I'm also planning on laying by the pool a lot, maybe go to the spa, just really relax, which I feel like people don't really put Coachella and relax in the same sentence, but this is gonna be my version of Coachella. So I should keep packing because I gotta go. Oh, so this is the frame TV. This is just a random piece of art that I picked out. Um, I like the TV, but it is kind of a scam. So you pay for the TV and it said on the box that it comes with a mount. It didn't and I'm like, was our box just missing one? So we had to pay $200 for the mount and then for the actual frame to go around the TV, it's an extra $200. So all of that is terrible. And then they want you to pay $50 a year for the artwork. I'm like, how can the TV itself be so expensive and then you keep charging so much for all these unnecessary costs? A little upset with frame today, but I think overall it turned out great. I made it to the Ritz. The drive wasn't too bad actually. I thought traffic was gonna be way worse. I look like a mess. I need to go shower, shower off my spray tan. Got a spray tan this morning by Glow Boss, of course. And get ready for dinner because we are going, I don't know where we're going, but I heard it's one of the best restaurants in Palm Springs. So we're going with Instagram and I think there's five of us and then the Instagram team. All right, off to dinner, running a little bit behind. Here's the outfit from Tro Troy, the label. Coachella day one, here's the outfit. The boots are from Steve Madden. This dress is EB denim. It's like a little corset in the back. Oh, and then I got these little gems from Hobby Lobby, I think. Here we are. Last night's dinner was so much fun and I am so excited for today. The meta team is so great. I came solo which I was nervous about, but Dean wasn't available. My friends didn't want to come. I feel like we're getting a little old for Coachella maybe, but I was like, oh my gosh, am I gonna bop around a festival by myself? Luckily, the meta team is so great. So I'm off. bed at 8 p.m. because oh my gosh it's so much gosh and also I think it's the coffee thing maybe because my I like cannot stay out late at 7 I started to crash but it's because I'm waking up so early I'm waking up at 6 a.m. so I need to be in bed by like 9 or 10 oh, I'm exhausted it was fun 
Mika was unbelievable. I already said this on my Instagram stories. He is unreal. I, my jaw was just on the floor and I was so happy dancing and singing. He's, I wasn't expecting that, but he is such a great performer. I have to go to another concert, whether it's in Switzerland, France, Quebec, um, I'm going. We're gonna make it happen. Your crowds, room service. Room service is here. I like, I'm so tired. I couldn't even stay awake for this. What is wrong with me? Why am I like this? I am a grandma. I don't know when it happened, but it did. There's a significant shift and who I am as a person. So for dinner tonight, we have a nice quinoa with crispy tofu, veggies, and then of course, chips and salsa. I'm not a big guac person, huge chips and salsa person. I'm going to have a pool day today. My hair is covering my swimsuit top. On the Q&A video, I talked about how my chest ebbs and flows and I bought this suit, it fit perfectly, and now I'm on a week where my boobs have grown. And for the people who say that's not true, it doesn't happen, it happens. They're in full force right now, so I only brought two suits. I don't really know what to do. I made it back to Vegas. I got home like an hour ago. I've been packing because Tina and I are leaving tomorrow to drive to Colorado with Al and we are going on a little camping trip. So I'll be sure to take you along with that trip next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a long one. It was such a packed weekend. I seriously had the time of my life. I was so nervous to go. I talked about this a little bit on Instagram, but I was so nervous. I tried to get my friends to come, but everyone was busy or just didn't want to come. So I went by myself and I'm so happy I went by myself because it pushed me out of my comfort zone and I was forced to like not just sit with my friends and talk, but like really interact with everyone else. And I'm super shy, so it's like, it's kind of hard sometimes and it's a lot easier for me to just be with my friends, the people that I know. So I'm really happy I went by myself because I met such incredible people and I feel like we wouldn't have bonded as much as we did if I came with a friend. I had the time of my life. It was so relaxing, yet so fun. Obviously big fan. I just, I can't say enough good things. So with that, I'm going to wrap up the video and keep packing because it's 10 p.m. and we are leaving at five. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.